Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a review about the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. So I know you guys have heard about this foundation for like so many times. Everybody is obsessed about it. Everybody's raving about it. So I decided to like try it out for myself if it's really, really good. So my shade is 104 Golden Beige. And I like the fact that the packaging is really light. It's in a plastic tube and it has some details in the back. So there is an indicator about the finish and um, about, I'm sorry, let me just zoom that in. So it has an indication on the type of finish that it makes, like it's is it either matte or demi-matte or loomy, something like that. So here it's marked as demi-matte and semi-matte. So it says here the lasting power of this one is 24 hour. So they have 12 hour, 16 hour, and 24 hour. But come on, who wears foundation within 24 hours? But anyways, you will probably find that out if you've like slept over to someone else's house and you are so drunk and you're so lazy to remove your makeup or if you don't want to remove your makeup. So the coverage of this one is medium and the texture is air light. So I actually tried this one already on my birthday dinner and I have to say I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to do a demo today on what it looks like when you apply it. I usually use, for this one, I like to use my fingers because, you know, our hands, our fingers has like natural heat that breaks everything down. It melts the foundation. This is so creamy, but not as creamy as some whipped foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and use like a pea size amount. I'm going to do the half of my face first. This foundation actually looks amazing in selfies. Trust me, I've received so many compliments on that day. My makeup looked flawless. I'll show you some photos of my makeup that day using this foundation and it works so well. So sometimes I'm kind of like, I don't know why, but of course there are so many YouTubers out there who has so many followers and sometimes I don't know if I if I would believe in them or not because some are sponsored maybe they're just trying to you know make a way to make it look good if you, even if it's bad I don't know if you feel me but sometimes I feel that because there are products that I've tried that they said that it's amazing but when I tried it I was like nah. so I'm pretty happy that this is really something that I like because my face is really oily so this is perfect for me so this is the finished look without any setting powder without anything I don't have any primer at all and it looks amazing and it's very very light look at that so this is without the foundation and this is with the foundation you can't really tell if there's something or not but it clearly removed the redness of my face right absolutely love this foundation i looked poreless usually on this part though you can still see some of my pores but it kind of diminished like look at that i'm not gonna say that this is buildable but let me try that You will actually look cakey if you like put too much. So I'm just trying to like make it really even as much as I could. So whenever I'm doing, I'm just gonna put product all over my face. So whenever I'm doing like a makeup review and all that, I really prefer to use the sunlight, the natural light, because it's all fun and fun and cute when you have when you're in front of your vanity and when you go out it's crazy like the first time i got my vanity mirror i was crazy about it I was, I was seriously obsessed about it it took me like three hours to do my makeup and then when i went outside my hubby was like 
Oh my gosh, your face is so light. But he tried to say it to me like in a very nice way. And then I checked myself out on the mirror. Oh my gosh. I was so shocked. My face looks pale as fudge. I like the fact that it really sets like seriously quickly. And it's like you don't need any setting powder for this at all. It really gives you like a powdery finish. It's so, so nice. So it's like that. For me, honestly, I have to say that this foundation is absolutely amazing. Though it only lasted for a good 7 hours, even if I used a setting spray and a primer. But then again, it really hid all the redness in my face. It's a really nice medium coverage. It looked like I had like a photoshopped skin. I was also surprised about the outcome. It really made my day extra special because I received some compliments because of this foundation. So if you are planning to buy this foundation, go ahead and try it. It worked for me and I'm pretty sure it will work for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!